Now, a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News, tracking real jobs RI. We have a follow-up to a story we first brought you in November of 2015. And that's when Rhode Island began taking applications for a new program called Real Jobs RI, a multi-million dollar job training initiative. Now it uses state and federal money to provide grants to local companies struggling to fill open positions. Now over a year into the program, we dug deeper to see if it's working and whether it's worth the money. In the fall of 2015, Rhode Island's defense industry was touting its growth with nearly $3 billion in defense contracts over a four-year period. But its workforce wasn't growing at the same rate, especially in the cybersecurity sector. They were struggling. So it was great when Real Jobs Rhode Island came out. Molly Donahue McGee is the executive director of the Southeastern New England Defense Industry Alliance, or Cenetia, that represents over 100 companies. She says a more than $200,000 grant through Real Jobs RI allowed them to establish a partnership with area colleges, implement a rapid certification course, and launch an internship program. It has been very successful. The internship helps meet and the rapid training helps meet our immediate need. The other pieces of this help us build the pipeline so that we can ensure that there are workers for the future. Andrew Enos completed the internship program and now works at McLaughlin Research Corporation part-time while finishing his senior year at Roger Williams University. It's really been a game changer for me. It would have been much more stressful trying to find a job, especially this close to graduation, if I didn't have that internship opportunity or somebody saying, hey, we will help you out, then uh, I'd almost be lost. Enos was one of nearly 1,200 people who signed up for the program in its first year. A little under half of those advanced to a new position. It's a rosier picture for those who completed the program. As of last month, 57% of those who completed it have a new job. 272 are still in training, but that means 151 never completed the program. The state estimates it's spending about $4,200 per participant. So is the money really helping to fill the skills gap? Governor Gita Raimondo says you have to look at the bigger picture. If we're going to spend a few thousand dollars in order to help somebody get a job where they might be making 30 or 40 or 50 thousand dollars a year, that's a great investment. And you have a lot of people who lost their jobs and they're out of work. By the way, then that's not free to the state either. They collect unemployment insurance, they might need social services, not to mention the fact that their lives aren't the way they want them to be. In Zanetti's case, Donahue McGee admits filling positions has been a slow process. You said you, you filled 27 uh, positions mm -hmm. since the program started. Correct. How many positions would you say at the beginning you had that needed to be filled? We probably had, we had more than that, okay? But we also wanted to make sure we did this program right. So we, we scaled it. Sonetia plans to continue with the Real Jobs program with a goal of adding 15 cybersecurity interns next year. Now, according to the Department of Labor and Training, the state has spent nearly $5 million so far. The federal government has chipped in an additional $1 million. While Sonetia is benefiting from this program, an oyster farm that we spoke with over a year ago when the program first launched isn't seeing the same success. We'll explain. New at 6. Now we continue tracking Real Jobs RI. We first told you about the multi-million dollar initiative in the fall of 2015. The state program is devoted to closing what's known as the skills gap. That's when there are more jobs open than qualified workers to fill them. Live at 5, we took you inside a cybersecurity company that says they've benefited from the program. And new at 6, we follow up with a business we spoke to when the program first got underway. Unfortunately, their experience with Real Jobs RI hasn't been as successful. It shouldn't come as a surprise that here in the Ocean State, aquaculture is booming, especially oyster farming. Back in October of 2015, we introduced you to Bee and Family Farm, one of 55 oyster farms in the state at the time. With a 30% increase in production over a 15-year period, Shellfish Environmental Services, along with Bee and Farm, and a number of other employers received a $19,000 grant through the Real Jobs RI program to increase their workforce. The money was used to develop an aquaculture training partnership that educated participants about the business from farm to table. Fast forward more than a year later and Bean tells us they didn't have the capital to hire any of the trainees who completed the program. 
But he does plan on hiring someone this year as he continues to expand his business. According to the Department of Labor and Training, 56% of those who completed the Real Jobs RI program got a new job. The governor's office says that's better than a similar program run by the U.S. Department of Labor that averaged a 51 percent employment rate in 2014. We just have to do more and uh, go faster. Uh, still, it's frustrating for me. Almost every day I talk to companies that say they're hiring, they have jobs available, they can't find somebody with the skills they need. That drives me crazy because I meet people who need a job and I meet companies who want to hire people and this program is about matching them up and we just have to do more of it. The Aquaculture Training Partnership has put together a proposal for another grant this year, expanding to the hospitality sector in order to provide catering and restaurant employers staff that are well trained in oyster and shellfish preparation and even wine pairings. What we have learned uh, has been very successful is we work very closely with employers. You got to tell us, but what does that person have to be able to do in order for you to give them a job? And solicitations for the next round of Real Jobs RI planning grants are due this Thursday. The awards will be announced in April. For more information, just go to our website, WPRI.com.